So I'm going to show you how to do all of the different things with the cashmere topper. And to begin with, you've got your asymmetrical, which just comes right over your head. You can actually take it way back, which would just be more on your shoulders, but still keep you warm. Otherwise, you can go way dramatically down and do that deep cowl. And it's going to be just that much shorter in the back, with depending on where you're up or down. Then you can start to, well, actually, then I'll go to this one where you take the corners and you pull it to the front and you can tie it. And showing the tie is actually kind of a nice, the, the, the knot is kind of a nice little detail that you can sh show it like this. Okay, it gives you a more fitted back now. But you can also hide the knot if you don't want to see the knot and you want it to be a little bit more of sort of a, a covered piece where you feel like you actually have sleeves. This is the, the next way to do it. Then if we just take it to the side, you've got your asymmetrical and you can do the asymmetrical very dramatically. I typically wear it like this. It's got a little bit more length on one arm, but you can go very dramatically asymmetrical just depending on you know how much you want to show and how much of an angle you want to have. You can then take it over your shoulder, which can be more of a sash. And obviously you can just narrow the top and bring it to the side so you're not, you're still able to see your outfit. But then if you had a really pretty dress that like, you know, was an exposed shoulder or that you've got that cold shoulder shirt where you actually see your skin, but you want to show that, this is definitely a consideration for a way to wear it that would just be still like giving you a little warmth, but, um, but having like a, a more unusual look. Then I'm going to show you as you bring it around to the front, so you're reversing it from the first way I showed you. You now have the V in the front instead of the back. It's now short in the back and long in the front. It's got more of a shawl vibe. You, you can obviously go, if you don't mind hiding what you're wearing and just covering up more, then you can take it in like this and take it off when you get into a place. You can actually belt this. Then you can take the hole and twist it so that it becomes more of a scarf and I'm gonna look in the mirror to fix it. But you now have something that's kind of like, it can be asymmetrical, you can bring it around and wear it more like a cape. And obviously, you know, pull it away from your neck if you don't wanna be strangled and just let, let it come on your shoulders. This is a really good look for an outfit where you actually wanna show more of it like, I sold it to a woman who had a really great jumper and she had a long necklace and so you could see all of it but she still was covered. And then I'm going to bring it around to the front and you've got your scarf. This is one way to wear it. You also have a scarf that you can wear the normal way that a lot of people do where it's just bulky and I've taken this like to 4th of July. I took this with me and I had it with me but then I could also get myself wrapped up in, into it if I needed it. And then lastly. Um, you can wear it as a blanket and um, also I know that there are some ways that you could wear it sort of as a as a headpiece and do kind of some fun things with it if you wanted to do that. Um, this is just a great piece to have in your wardrobe and we have literally over 50 colors that we can get for you. So um, definitely consider it to be part of your wardrobe. Hope to see you soon.